Hey, Fit Body Nation, Trainer B here. So it's our Sunday stretch. We're gonna slow the pace down today. So I want you to put some jams on that just kind of keep the heart rate slower, kind of relax the mind, relax the body. I want you to hear what I'm saying and I want you to see what I'm doing so you can imitate it. But besides that, I want this to be almost like a lucid dream, all right? We're gonna relax the muscles that we've worked on all week, make you feel good. So I want you to start up to your feet. We're gonna take it into a runner's lunge. So this one, I like to literally drop the knee all the way down and then lean forward and also put your hands on your hips. But what we're doing with this is we're getting a nice pull back here in the quads. We're getting a good stretch. I want you to point that back toe. Still, as in every rule with lunges, this knee should not be over that toe, okay? So, hold it. There you go, we're gonna keep it there. Another good 20 seconds or so. After a while, you start to feel a pull on that leg that stretch forward, you'll feel it back in the hamstring, okay? Right back here under the, under the leg. All right, so now, just stand up. Switch that leg out. Other leg. Hold it down. Really get a good stretch. That's it. Perfect. Just keep it there. Nice and tight. Relax it. There you go. Good Fit Body Nation. Proud of you. Made it through the week. Jumped in with a Sunday here. Or maybe you're not even doing it on a Sunday. Maybe you just found this video and you're doing the stretch. But welcome to the video, and I'm proud of you for doing it. Good. So now hold it. The good thing to go along with stretching is actually drinking a lot of water as you do it. Because as you stretch, you're going to release toxins out of your muscles. And toxins have to be flushed out of the system. All right, good. So relax on that. Now this next one, what we're going to do, I'm going to move this. Now, you're going to take it into a side bend. So you're going to stretch it over, and you're going to hold it. There you go. So we're going to hold this about 10, 20 seconds or so. Out a little bit, get back over that same side. Really bring your hands down towards your knee. And you're going to feel this pull in your obliques over here. All right? You feel that? You should be feeling that. Get a nice bend at the hips. Nice pull, nice stretch. You might feel it in your lats up here. All right? Switch it over the other side. Same thing. There we go. Good. Perfect. That's it. Keep it tight. Holding. Excellent. Let it stretch. Let your body relax on this one. There you go. You should be able to just close your eyes. Yes, there's going to be some tight pull there. So it might be uncomfortable a little bit, but it's a really good feeling uncomfortable. Stretch. Let that hand get heavier. Really pull. Let it pull. Ten more seconds. Eight more seconds. Keep your breathing slow. Three, two, one. Perfect. Now, what do I want you to do on this one? Put the chair out of the way. All right, so what this one is, okay, it's a seated hamstring stretch. So what I want you to do is you're literally going to bring this foot inside, okay? You should be able to see me. Put on this one. This foot inside, and you're just leaning forward. So this is a stretch you probably did in high school or middle school if you did uh, any type of sports, athletics. So you're going to reach forward. So now you're going to feel this completely in the hamstring area, okay? That's it, just in the hamstring. So reach forward. We get a good, nice pull on it. There you go, that's it, good. Looking phenomenal. Now. As your hamstring starts to loosen up, if it does loosen up, it may stay just as tight all the way through. But as it starts to loosen up, 
I want you to try to lean forward more and more. Ideally, you would like to literally be able to get your forehead to your kneecap or bite your kneecap. Now, I'm not that limber yet because I don't do as much stretching as I should. You may not be there either, but together we're going to get there. We're going to do enough of these Sunday stretch videos. We're going to get there. So I want you to hold this for 10 more seconds. Really pulling forward. Lean it forward. Drop your head down in five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to switch to the other leg. I'm going to switch positions. Now, same thing. Keep this leg tucked in. Reach forward. And you may notice that one side is a lot tighter than the other. That's normal. It's just how it goes. Good. Just keep relaxing. Start with one hand reaching towards the foot. Bring it forward. Again, you're going to feel it in the hamstring. That's the back of the leg here. Okay. It's that nice, tight pull. Hamstrings are usually completely forgot about a lot of times. So you may be extremely tight. Or if you stretch like you used to, or you should, um, it may be really loose. Either way, we're going to make it better. That's all we're doing. Making it better. Making ourselves better. All right, 10 more seconds right here. Really lean it down for the last part. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, so this next one is actually called a God Squat or a Goddess Squat or a King Squat or a Buddha Squat. There's a lot of weird names for it. An Aztec Squat. But what you're going to do is your feet are going to be wide, okay? You're going to squat low. Now, your hands are supposed to be up, but I don't care what you do with your hands. I want you to squat low, and you're going to feel pull in the groin. Okay, so I want you to sink down, and as you're squatting down, now I'm literally pushing out with my hands here, okay? I'm also supporting my weight on my knees, which is a plus and a minus, okay? But you should feel the pull in your groin, even if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, or if you're sitting up like this. This is actual proper form, hands up like that. So that's why they call it a god pose. I guess it looks like, I don't know, ancient art that was drawn on pyramids or something. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Seems like every exercise and every stretch has 15 different names. It just really depends uh, what generation or era it went through. All right, but keep sinking lower and lower and lower. Now, ideally, your legs would be parallel. Mine aren't. My groin is way too tight. <laughs> so. We're going to relax it. All right, about 10 more seconds right here. Good. Five more seconds right here. Three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, so the next one, we did this one actually last week. It's a shoulder stretch. Um, it's a fun shoulder stretch. I like this one. So this one, what you do, go ahead and plant. Your left hand on the ground. You're going to be both knees on the ground, and I want you to rotate your right arm and shoulder all the way to the ground. And then relax it into the ground as much as you can. Now, this hand that's on the ground, you can use it as support if you want, kind of your choice. Good. I want you to relax it. It's hard to talk. I'm so relaxed, I can't even say the word relax. Relax it into the ground. Good. So with that rotation, it's a little in your shoulder, but you'll actually feel it in your back as well. Kind of that upper shoulder blade on the right side. Yep, that's where you should be feeling it. That's right. Good. This is actually one I could probably fall asleep in. I don't know why, but it's comfortable. So keep holding it. You can keep it here about another 15 seconds or so. We're trying to ideally Hold each exercise, each position for about 60 seconds. <clears throat> the longer you can hold it um, after a workout, at least a stretch video like this, 16 to 90 seconds, that's ideal. Um, you can even hold it longer, which is fine. It's not going to hurt anything. And relax on that. Now, if you're doing this type of stretch before a workout, you're actually going to notice it's going to slow you down. 
Um, I don't do this type of stretching before. All right, so this way I can still face the camera. We're gonna switch sides. Other side is down. So now your right hand is planted. Your left hand and shoulder are flat on the ground. Just like this. Now after we get through holding this stretch, we're gonna take a quick water break because I do want you drinking water. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, this type of stretching, just like getting a massage, this actually releases toxins into your system because that's what's built up with working out. You got lactic acid going through your system. Um, so this actually releases toxins, but you need to drink water so that way you flush the toxins. You don't want them sitting in your system. Good. Holding it. Relaxing. Excellent. That's it. Keep it there. So we'll finish this one with a quick drink. You can change your music if you need to. Turn it up louder if you need to. And five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Good. All right. So sit down on your yoga mat. Get some water. We've got a few more exercises. Now the next one, um, since we're taking a break, I'm going to use a chair like this. Now, the reason I'm using this specific chair is because this is all cushion. You want something soft. Um, use a chair that's wide like this or a stability ball. So if you have one of the, uh, the big round balls, the exercise balls that airs up, that's ideal for this. But I don't keep one of those up here. We're actually going to be laying our backs on it and stretching out. So, if you don't have a ball though, and you don't have a chair to do it like this on, I want you to do the same stretch, but I want you to do it flat on the ground. So for you, it'll stretch a little bit different muscle groups, but that's fine. So find your chair, and lean back over it, and just let it hang back. Want to get your hands all the way to the ground? Excellent. Now, so what area is this stretching? This is hitting your lower abdominals. This is hitting mid abdominals. This is hitting your upper abdominals. Plus, it's taking and stretching out the shoulders. Now, I want you to grasp your hands together. Pretend like somebody is sitting on the ground and they're pulling your hands down to the ground. Good. You'll notice this pulls on your shoulders a lot more. Perfect. Oh yeah, I could I could pretty much stay and take a nap in this position for a while as well. Comfortable, fun stretch. So hopefully you have a ball or a chair to do this on. This feels phenomenal. If you don't, I'm sure you're just as awesome and just as comfortable on the ground, right? All right, I can't see the time, so I'm just going off the average in my head. I'm going to give it about 20 more seconds. By that time, all the blood should be rushed to your brain, especially if you're upside down. To 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly come up out of that position. Especially if you were hanging back like that, you will rush all the blood to your head. So if you sit up real quick, all the blood will rush out of your head and you'll pass out. You don't want to do that. Okay, so this next one is a standing hip stretch. So here's what you want to do on this one. You're actually going to bring your leg up and you're going to hold it just like this. Okay, so balance on a wall if you need to. Keep that foot up, really pulling. Now, so for this one, you're gonna feel it back here, okay? Feel it, the back of the thigh right there, nice and high, almost into the gluteus muscles, okay? Not quite, but close, really close. All right, so this gets the hip a little bit. <clears throat> you're doing good, almost there. Fun holding. That's it. Five seconds left on this side. Good. Now we're going to switch other side. 
Definitely feel a lot tighter in this one. Same thing, keep it up, L. Good. Good, good. <clears throat> Let it pull. So like I said, you may feel it more on one leg than the other. That's totally normal. Like this leg is actually a little bit tighter in those muscles, but I can feel it pull more on the other leg. So it doesn't always make sense how that stuff works, but the human body is an amazing thing. And sometimes it just does what it wants. All right, we're gonna hold this one for 20 more seconds. So keep focusing on that balance. Do it tight, as long as you can. Doing good. Beautiful Sunday. Gorgeous weather today, hopefully in your area. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right. Yo, I know you feel it when you come out of it. Okay, now you're going to be on your stomach for this one. So if you did drink a whole lot of water when you're supposed to, you may feel it a little bit with this. This one is going to be a quad stretch, but it's going to be a line quad stretch. Okay? So you're actually going to be on your stomach. You're going to take one foot only and pull it back. Your other hand, just lay your head on it. You can even close your eyes as if you were taking a nap. Okay? But make sure that you're pulling that foot towards your butt. If you can get it to touch your butt, even better. Mine, not quite, but close. So mine's a little tight, but I'm going to keep pulling it down. And hopefully by the time this leg is done, I'll be able to have it pretty close. There you go. So you want to continually stretch and pull the muscles and pull that range of motion farther and farther. Don't just hold a stretch and not challenge it. You want to pull it down farther. You want to pull it harder. There you go. That's how you get it better. All right, that hurts. I'm going to hold it. You keep yours there as well. Good, 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 good. Woohoo! All right, we're almost there. Keep it tight. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Relax out of that. Excellent. All right, other leg, same thing. So, now this one's interesting, see? This one easily will go back to my butt. Not a problem. So it's not as tight. It's looser, which is good. It just means I need to be stretching evenly and often, not just on Sundays. And you don't need to just stretch on Sundays either. Definitely make it a priority to get two, three, five, 25 minutes of stretching after every workout. All right, we're gonna keep holding this side, and maybe this side to you is really tight, so challenge it. See if you can get the heel all the way back to your butt. What you can do. All right, we're gonna keep it here for 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, next one is a cobra pose. Walk your hands back towards your hips. I like to look up towards the ceiling. At least pretend I'm looking up towards the ceiling. Now, you're going to feel this one really stretch out the abs. That's what this one's for. It's an abdominal stretch. Perfect. That's it. I want you to keep holding this one. You may feel this one as you relax your hips into the ground. You let your hips sink into the ground. You may actually feel this one in your back as well, kind of your lower back. It may be pinching, pinching, pinching. How do you say that? Pinching a little bit in your lower back. All right? It's normal. Okay. Now if it's a sharp pinch, pinch, pinch. Then uh, relax out of this and relax out of it by doing this. 
Everybody else, I want you to keep holding it though. Stay here for about 10 more seconds. Now I want you to relax your stomach, push your belly button out, push it out towards the ground. Pretend you're trying to touch your belly button. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so next one now. I'm going to adjust a couple things. My mat being one of them. So this one, it's actually a really cool stretch. Um, a good friend of mine, Krav Maga, a trainer, Krav Maga fighter as well, he used to do this one with his fighters all the time. It's actually a very painful stretch. But you're going to slide your butt up to the wall, literally, butt to the wall, and put your feet up right here. All right, now what they would do is they would like do a split thing and let the muscles relax. But you can do this as well, and you can even try this. It's amazing. And you get your legs lower and lower, more into a split. I'm going to, with my untied shoe, I'm just going to hold it against the wall right here and keep it tight for now. Now, keeping them right here, what you'll notice is you'll feel it in your calves, feel it in your hamstrings. Good. This is just a good way to finish off a light Sunday stretch. Now, if you take it into I'll have to ask Seven what he calls this one. He has a name for it. Take it into this stretch. You'll feel it hamstring still. It takes it off of the calves. Then you feel it in the groin. So it allows you to get a better kick in. Allows you to be a lot more limber and loose with your lower half. All right. I'm going to keep it here the last few seconds, though. All right, and we're almost done. This is literally the last exercise we have today, our Sunday stretch. So 20 more seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, keep holding it, relax, don't worry about the countdown. Three, two, one. All right, that is it. So this is our third week of Sunday stretches. Go back and watch the other two. Every week, the stretches, the routine, it's always different. I don't like repeating the same workout over. I don't like repeating the same stretch routine over. So you can go back, get some variety, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel, please like and share it. Um, got a lot more videos coming. I've got a lot more workouts coming, nutrition stuff. I've got all kinds of ideas for you guys. I love you. Enjoy your Sunday, all right?